It is not straight. Um, <laughs> y'all, and I must say that that conditioner does work because look at my hair. I don't know whether to blow dry to put it back in a puff. <laughs> there are some pieces in the back that did get straight, kind of. I don't even know what to call this. <laughs> like, really, really hair, really. But um, yeah, after I did the perm, my hair was feeling like really dry and just nasty. And I haven't felt my hair feel like that since, not since the last time I relaxed my hair, but when my hair was relaxed, one time I caught myself doing a rinse and my hair just felt bad after when I was rinsing it out. And that's how my hair felt just now. But look at this. I don't know if my hair was like this before, but maybe now, even if, I don't know if I'm going to straighten it. Like with the flat eyes. Cause like. Should I straighten it? This stuff will be a breeze to straighten. Look at it. The comb just, just go through. It's been a long time since I've been able to. Oh it won't go through that like that. Small sections Tasha. But um. Yeah I was looking at my hair with the conditioner on it. And it was like. Tresses like cause of whatever I don't know whether to put like some curly definition stuff on it or whether to blow dry I guess I blow dry it but um yeah y'all I'll come back after it's blow dry and when I get ready to straighten it cause my battery is not going to last alright okay so I'm done blow drying my hair this is the perm that I use The Motions Salon Care Silkening Shine Relaxer System Regular. No lie. No lie. Mm. This is the um, blow dryer that I use. The Andes. I used to have an Andes flat iron. That stuff is cheap and I don't know. I wouldn't recommend buying it, but whatever. And the Remington. Uh, whatever this is. It's a flat iron. It's one inch. It says that the place are ceramic and infused with avocado oil, but whatever. That stuff is some bull. I just bought it because it looked decent. And that's about it. And it had this picture on the side with the cuticle laying down. So, bought that. And so now this is my hair blow dried. I don't really like the way the ends feel, but putting olive oil on it on the ends really did make them feel a little bit better but this is my hair blow dry a lot of people with natural hair can get their hair look like this blow dried and actually this is how my hair used to look blow dried anyway I used to tell a lot of people when my hair was relaxed which I don't know if you consider this relaxed or not it um I was pressing it anyway like my hair some people have relaxed hair and they just wash it, just lay down. But I've always had to like press my hair straight. So that's what I'm about to do. And um, I'll probably come back when I get closer to the front. Um. Yeah, this piece over here, this pull piece right here in the back, the first piece that I had um, turned, it is just so dry and just, oh, feeling. But, that's what you get when you perm your hair. So, I do this, ooh, I do this one piece for you all. That's it. I'll be back. Okay, so all I have left is this up here in the front. And I did find that I was having to trim my hair as I went along. So, yeah, I'll have this 
much going over here. Which way my part used to go? I don't know. I slanted. Ugh. But yeah. So, um, sometimes I was putting olive oil on it. Sometimes I've been putting olive oil on it since I was blow drying it so some of it just got olive oil on it some of it most of it do so olive oil is my new friend because it works I'm just parting the hair combing it And I've been getting it straight with just two, um, two passes. Yeah. Yeah, I had a feeling it had gone off. One con about this thing, it's been doing a pretty good job, but the buttons are in such a bad place that you don't want to put your hand up here because it's right behind the plate and it's hot. But down here, like, it's not that long. Like, here to here, it's, like, cool. Then once you get past here, it's hot. But then your hands have to go right over the buttons. And, um, it's been, like, the time, the temperature been, like, switching up a lot. Not switching up, but I've been making a second pressing the buttons a lot. Um, I did the back on like 390 and now it's on 410. I'm probably going to switch it back to 390 since I'm in my like, I don't know, finer hair. But yeah. I could tell it wasn't on because it didn't get straight like it's been getting. I don't know, these ends may not need trimming. Yeah, that one don't need trimming. Because my ends in the front, my hair in the front, I know it's been growing, but I feel like it's been breaking off. So, them ends are pretty clean. They don't have as many knots and tangles as the rest of my ends had. So, I do one pass. And then I do another pass. Yeah, that feels pretty good too. Now that I could probably trim. This I will trim. You see that? I've been trimming about a half an inch to an inch in some places. Just because it wasn't even anywhere. And all my trims before, I would just take the two strand twist and just like whack it off at the end so like the two strands would be uneven plus it would be uneven from everything else around it so none of my hair was even then i had so many knots i didn't see any split ends when i was looking through my ends um i don't think i've what i don't think i've ever had a problem with split ends but yeah, so this is my hair. Oh. It's like curly still because none of it's the same length. Been that I had there. 
So this is it. Um, yeah. I'm going to wrap it up. And I'll wrap it in the morning and see how I look. That will be the true test. Bye bye for now.